When December comes, I bet you want to wrap me all up and take me home with you. Hi guys, it's me, Paige, or Paris, whatever you want to call me, and welcome to another video. And I am so glad to be back from a needed three-month break, and uh, we have some explaining to do before I get into this video. I am not a professional YouTuber in any way. I don't do this as a job. I don't do this to get money. I don't do this for any professional reason. So I decided to take a three-month break because um high school so i decided to take a three month break in september october and november because of school i am a junior in high school if you didn't know and junior year is pretty rough and if i had to post a youtube video every single weekend it would have probably been pretty rough for me and my grades in general so i decided to take a three month break and i thought it was very clear i'm sorry that not a lot of people understood i was taking a three month break but that's what it was. It was a three month break and I am here stronger than ever in December like I promised and this December Christmas season is going to be a little little different on my channel than the past couple two years of my high school years. <laughs> So I posted on my Instagram story that I will be posting Christmas videos soon, but I will not be doing week miss anymore. And a lot of people were concerned, why wasn't I doing week miss? If you are new to my channel, you would not know what week miss is, in which week miss is instead of vlog miss, in which a YouTuber vlogs every single day. Week miss is me filming every single day in a week and posting the end result of that vlog on the last day of the week. I've been doing those type of videos for two years, I think in freshman and sophomore year and recently i decided not to do it because it just doesn't sound right for me to do it i've noticed that when i've been doing weakness videos i barely put up content that is not just straight up vlogs in which i'm going to be putting up vlogs of course for the season but i will not be doing a whole week of vlogs like i did the previous year because that was just very chaotic and i just had no motivation in the end but to just clear things out i am here stronger than ever to do more christmas videos i promise you i have a lot of christmas videos that i have been working on and um to kick off the christmas season on my channel i decided to do the highly requested but not highly requested christmas winter wish list wish list wish list before we get started with this video, once again, I'm going to be saying I do not suspect I'm going to get all of these items for Christmas. I do not suspect anyone's going to even watch this video at this point. But, um, this is just for fun and harmful fun. If anyone wants to hate on this video, then don't watch it. So on my Christmas wish list, I am actually wanting baking items. If you do not know, I love to bake. I don't think anyone knows I like to bake, but I bake for every single bake sale in my school. I'm in a variety of clubs and I love to bake and it's just so much fun to bake certain items. And um, here are some of the baked goods I've made in the past. <laughs> that i am so open to any sort of baking item and the only baking item i've really been wanting to have for the past couple years is a stir mixer a stir i don't know if it's called a stir mixer uh is it but i've been wanting that sort of baking item for a while i do have a hand mixer but hand mixing has not been working out for me because i am weak i'm just super weak and i can't use a hand mixer but with that, I am very open to any sort of cool baking item to make my baking experience more easier, <laughs> to be honest. Because baking is very hard and um, Ropanzino makes it look so easy to bake. But it's not easy to bake. It literally takes me about two to three hours to bake. Another thing I want on my Christmas wish list is any items that will decrease anxiety and stress. Which I know it sounds a little weird to ask that type of stuff for Christmas, but uh, the, the, the junior year in high school in general is very stressful. By the third year, you are dying inside. And I literally have been dying since day one of junior year, and I've been stressed and I've been crying. It's just a. Uh, it just haven't been a good time. Specifically on items that I want to decrease my anxiety and stress is literally the most stupidest thing I've ever, ever, ever seen. But it's the most satisfying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. 
it is the Buddha water board board thing. Focus on yourself and your thoughts. I don't know if anyone knows what it is, but it's this type of dry board that if you take this bamboo pen and you put water and you, you could draw freely on it and it just looks so satisfying. I don't know. Here's just some items that I think that will decrease my anxiety just here or whatever, whatever, wherever it is. I don't, I don't even know. Recently, I've been actually trying to do my hair nice for once in which I've been trying to use new hair accessories and headbands instead of putting my hair in a freaking scrunchie. Which, uh, I think after my video trying Instagram hairstyles for a week, which I failed at, but after that video, I actually got inspired to do my hair more different than just straightening it or putting in a ponytail or putting in a bun because, uh, that's a little boring. So here are some items that I, that are like, I'm interested in for hair type of items. I think, okay, whatever, whatever, here, here, here. I know I've been seeming like I am a spoiled brat in this video, but I swear this is the number one top thing I've been wanting for Christmas. And I've asked for this literally years ago when I got it, but then we have the dilemma of today. So story time. Over summer, um, I was filming my last YouTube video and I put my camera down and this was before summer, whatever, in mid spring. And my parents were cleaning for the garage sale. All my camera happened to be on the table where all the equipment was. And my parents took my camera and sold it in the garage sale for charity, which it's okay. Whoever has a camera, um, I'm happy that you have that camera. You deserve it. I think charity comes in more than me. But the problem with that was that the connector to my tripod was on it. My, uh, my card was in it and a whole bunch of videos I was going to post previous month was on that camera. I cried for like a long time about it and I was really bad at my parents. But the one thing I've been wanting for Christmas is to have my vlog slash regular camera again in which i don't care what it is i prefer the one i have back then and there's a new one that i found in best buy that's really nice and i really just want that and a new tripod because i don't have a tripod now because my tripod connector was on it on the camera and that's why my videos have been very bad quality like i'm, I'm filming, filming on, on my, my ipad, iPad. And, like, you know, I, like, I really, like, I'm not blaming anyone for the situation, what happened, but I really just want to be able to have a camera. There's a lot of YouTubers that don't have professional cameras, and I'm not saying that you need an actual camera to become a YouTuber, in which a lot of people vlog with their phones and iPad. I just prefer it because I don't know. It just makes me feel more like a YouTuber. There's a lot of things people do to make them feel more like a YouTuber, which following trends and doing this and that. But me having a camera in hand makes me feel more like a YouTuber. So this is the end of the video. I know this entire video was so weird and so non-necessary and not very highly requested, but very highly requested at the same time. But I hope you guys like this video. I promise you there's going to be a lot of more holiday videos coming soon. I love you guys so much. And, um, I don't have a scrunchie. What am I going to do? Let me get it. Let me get a scrunchie. I couldn't find a scrunchie, but I found this. Bye. <laughs>